To many social media users, it may not be surprising anymore to see CCTV footage of a robbery taking place in this country. But what may be shocking is that these two men are on their way to rob a daycare, a crime even child psychotherapist Gregory Isaacs could not believe. Many years ago, um, preschools and primary schools, religious houses and clinics, those sort of places where people go for help, you would have thought that they, were, um, they would be free from attacks like bandits. Senior Superintendent of the Northern Division, Moving Edwards, told CNC3 News that the investigation is ongoing. He said an investigator has been appointed and statements were taken. Edwards said that they are also combing through evidence to find the suspects and have recommended counselling for the children and the caregiver of the daycare. Isaacs, with approximately 17 years of experience, said there are signs parents can look for. Look at what is the difference in how they are communicating today, the day after the, the attack, compared to last week when they had no attack. If you see they are hesitant, if you see they, they don't want to go, they're crying and whatever, it tells you that, listen, fear is crippling the child. The psychotherapist said even though the seven children are young, between the ages of nine months and two and a half years, simply seeing someone so close to them attacked and traumatized is enough to affect them. There's a level of connectedness with the child and the caregiver. Isaac said these unresolved traumas can be one of the reasons why there is so much violence today. A lot of our young parents, new parents, I don't think they place enough value on the importance of mental health, the mental health of the children. Something parents of students of the Rose Hill RSC school said they tried to protect after rapid gunfire had them seeking cover in October last year. Grandparent Andrea Stewart said because they live in the area, the sound of gunshots is normal. And since the dreaded day, the violence has reduced. Normal. Because living in the area, which is down the hill, Right here, custom here in it. Other parents who did not want to go on camera confirmed this to us as well. But some children remain on edge. They ask me every day, Mommy, the war start back. I can't even answer them. When CNC3 News visited today, children were running and playing. But Six months ago, similar footsteps were heard around the school, but it wasn't for play. These children were actually running for their lives. Dog. Dog. Police were outside of the compound when we visited. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.